There's a term that I've read about, and sometimes I've, I've actually felt it. It's called imposter syndrome. And I don't know if you've ever heard of that term, imposter syndrome. But it's essentially where doing, working in your career, doing what we do every day, having success, having some failures, but having success, more successes than failures, but you're questioning your acumen. You're questioning your ability to do what you're doing, even though you, you validated it over the years. You are 100% on, Keith. And I driven to a large degree by fear and insecurity. And I had a buddy at the law firm at one point, he called me Joe Gadsby. He goes, you're like Gadsby. They say, you, you, you're so worried it's all going to fall apart. You know what I mean? Like, you know, self-made. But although, no one's really self-made. You, you know, and your parents and you know, everybody, everybody has a role in making you. But I did always think it's going to, like, there, there were times where, like, it's all going to fall apart. They're going to find me out. I'm a fraud. You know, I didn't go to the best law school. I'm, I may not be that great with finances. Maybe that's you're right. part of it for us, you know, because I yeah. went to Seton Hall and... You know, I I was a Brooklyn kid. I was always, you know, a, a Armenian Italian background. I always felt like I was being judged. I moved from Jersey to Florida. It was a I was hometown big time. I got very difficult to get a job. Yeah. And 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 so I mean, you know, is there a chip on your shoulder about it? I mean, I like I don't that. know. I think there's that little there's also that little paranoia behind you that yeah. you better make sure you do what you can do.